Hey, what's up guys on YouTube? This is Freaky Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial. And I think this time I just can't pack it all into one training. So I decided to let's just go with flow today and see how far I can get it, how far I can push it. But I think there are so many topics we can talk about. So I don't think it will fit into one tutorial. But topics are um, how to make this speckled, dotted, and I don't even know the right word for it, materials. So you can see this one or I made variations here for, you can see in the back, this is also nice. This one, this one. Yes, so we will talk about how to build these beautiful materials. Also here you can see how I made these gradients. And it's not made with the gradient, it's made with another node, okay? <laughs> it's not always that obvious. Okay, so we will talk about materials, but of course, this is mainly about MoGraph fields, all right? So how to make beautiful Boolean operations to cut stuff away from objects and make subtractions, additions and intersection operations. Also, you can see the technique beautiful on the Buddha's head. So how to achieve something like that? I think this is just beautiful stuff, right? So. Let's see, I think I have a couple more of renders. Field erosion techniques. That's what I called it first and I will show you how to do it, okay? So let's just quickly go through these renderings. And of course, when you see these ribbons, there should ring a bell in your head, okay? So I have a tutorial on this one and if you didn't watch it, man, you should check it, okay? So you can see how beautiful. <laughs> I always say beautiful, it's... Uh, I, I just can't can't resist. You can see how great these ribbons look in this rendering. I mean, this is cool, okay, it works, but this is a nice addition, okay? So learn my techniques and step by step, you will get better and better. Even I get better and better, okay? So before this, I would have done something like this, but then oh, I studied these ribbon techniques and now my renders look so much more beautiful. Okay, so couple of close-ups, lots of ribbons here, lots of fields, erosion, destruction techniques there. Ah, it looks gorgeous. We will also talk about materials, so how to make these ones. Maybe we can also talk about spline dynamics here. Um, it's just a little side topic, so maybe I will also show you how to do it. Okay, so this looks nice cool stuff here and I think you are ready to watch the training, right? So why don't we just go into Cinema 4D and let's see how far we can push it today. As I already mentioned, I hope I mentioned it, this course will come in chapters so I can't put everything into one lesson but hey, let's just start and see how far we can go. So see you in Cinema 4D. All right guys, finally in Cinema 4D and I think and this just feels so empty. So why don't we just put a cube into it? Perfect. And I think we want to start with a simple object. So let's say we want to start with a, like something like a pillar. Okay. I just put it on the floor. Oh, this just helps me to not feel anxious about this uh, empty space here. So just make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Perfect. And I think this one should be in a builder. So select this one, hold down Alt and put it into a builder and then put the builder in the measure. I just like to say that. Okay, cool. So this is already super promising, but hey, let's just decrease the resolution here or increase it. Decrease the value, increase the resolution. That's what I meant. So let's work with free for now. And I think it is already time to cut stuff away from it. So let me just think about how to do it. First, I would say go into your builder and you have different systems here. So the signed distance field is working with like modes like add and subtract. So you can see if I have another cube here, put it there. This one is union subtract intersect. Okay, so this works like booleans. But we can also change this mode to something like fog. 
And I just have to tell you, fog works a little bit faster in my opinion. So if I check my frames per second, fog always helps me to be faster. I'm not sure if it's always the case, but for now, let's stay to fog. And this will switch everything more into a Photoshop mode, okay? So now you have blending modes, all right? So this works the same like Booleans, but you just blend, yeah, you just blend <laughs> volumes, like giving them values and you just multiply, add, subtract, and it's basically like 3D Photoshop here, okay? Let me activate the measure so I can see something. Okay, so. I will work with fog. Okay, perfect. So we have a beautiful cube. What can we do next? I think it's already time to cut this into pieces. Okay, so therefore I like to go to create and go to the fields and I just grab this menu. I just find, I just think this is very convenient. And how about a linear field here? Okay, so let me just see if I can make this magic happen. I can still remember it because I forget everything all the time. So I guess this could be a beautiful angle and why don't we just angle it also in another axis. Make something like this, okay. So everything that is in this fall off will be cut away from the cube. Perfect. But since we want to work with other objects, so why don't we also put a spherical field already into the scene. Let's put it in there maybe. Let's make a big cut away from it here. Um, okay, so you can see this is not so helpful that they straight disappear. So the filter, it is the other section here. So you can see this is helpful if you want to get rid of them, just deselect it. But for now, I just want to see what I will cut away from it. And I already can tell you since we have different fields, it is helpful to work with a group field. And now it is very convenient to just put the spherical and the linear inside of it. And I think this will be super helpful when we now go to our volume builder. And let's see if the magic is already happening. So we want to say we want to use the group field and want to subtract everything away from it. So. First, to make it happen, I think you need to go to your group field and change the creation space from box to objects below. So everything below will be transformed, uh, changed. You can see this is not working as expected. So I guess we just need to go to our group field. And how about, let's see if I change this one to subtract. Perfect. Okay, so up for a very good start here. Cool. Let's duplicate the spherical field. Let's put it also in this list and also set it to subtract. Okay. And let's just oh, not move the field, the group field, but move the second, second spherical field. So how about we just cut something in like this one. Okay. Sweet. Okay. This is also cool. So. Maybe, yeah, let's just go wild here, actually. So I did it multiple times. This is cool. So we have a little hole in it. Uh, very artistic. Sweet. <laughs> I'm sorry, this was uh, like the police or whatever, emergency. Um, how about, let's just try something else. Let's put a capsule field in it. I think this could be a sweet technique if we just put it there. Let's just stretch it, put it onto this, uh, this corner here and put it into our group field and say this one will also be subtracted. Oh, I thought the placement would be somewhere else. I just want to put it there, I guess. Let's see, we want to just cut away this, this angle. Yes, I think this is nice. Okay, cool. I guess we want to even push it further and let's say this axis will also be cut away. So put it also to subtract. Mm, okay. Ah, ah, always move the wrong object. Oh, I'm sorry. The, there is something wrong in the city. Lots of police and emergency cars. 
That's nice. I think I just want to push it even further. Let's call this one two, put it also inside of it, subtract it and put it, you guessed it, man. You put it here. Okay. Let's put it. Okay. So, okay. Now this is getting really complex here and this is getting super thin. So I guess I just want to change this one, make it a little bit smaller. No, that was too small. Or maybe just put it inside of it. That's better. Oh man, this is the most cool, coolest, the most beautifulest, of course, shape that I built for this tutorial. So I think this is looking really nice here. Good stuff. I guess you already expected this one. So let's put one more inside of it. And I think the group field, uh, capsule field three will be in a good placement when we put it there. Oh, you guessed it. Okay, so a little bit distracting here. So how about we just deactivate it? Well, I have to say this looks really sweet, crazy. All right, so honestly, I have to say this one, <laughs> I need to make renders of this one. So these clean shapes like this, um, like these clean angles here, man, this looks really sick. So awesome. So yes, but I think we want to have this more like, like a little noise on these structures. Okay. So just like it is broken and not smoothly cut, but we want to like it is destroyed. Okay. So we want to go for another look, but man, this is already looking super cool. So. Let me just quickly see if I reduce the voxel size to two, this will get more precision. I think it's already cleaned up. So put it to 1.5. Oh, this looks so sharp. Okay, little problems here, but we can always put a fox move inside of it. This is way too smooth. You have three operations here. This is the smoothest, middle smooth, not so smooth. Okay, so. And by the way, this is the fastest, middle, slowest. So easy to remember. I think we want to go for median actually, because this is too soft. Uh, it's not always easy to soften the, the fog volume, the, the fog volume builder, whatever. I think maybe we just put it to mean. Ah, that's better. Wow, that's, this is, oh man. I just, I can't say it, but it looks great. Okay. So I love these angles, but <laughs> this is not everything I want to teach in the tutorial because we actually want to work with a shader field. Okay. And now it gets really crazy. So the shader field, let's see if we can get it to work. Let's put a noise into it. So I'm just a big fan of noises. And this one is, this is good but this is better. Okay. So you can see a visual representation of it. And I just like stupid, double stupid, whatever. Just give it a little bit more contrast. And I think this is a great noise. Put it to something around 500 for now. So this is like a beautiful distorted noise. And now let's see, can I make, can I get it to work? I think I just need to put the shader field inside of it. And now something horrible will happen, I guess. Yes. Oh, not really horrible. It's just another technique. Okay. So now the noise, <laughs> I mean, this is, this is looking awesome. This is, ah, it's so cool to work with this stuff, but we only want to have the noise on the angles. Okay. So now we need to apply some clever Photoshop thinking. And I think we just need to set this one to overlay. Let's try it. Yes. Okay. So this is getting better and better. Hmm. Interesting. So obviously this noise doesn't really match the, the look we want to go for. So this is more like liquid. Okay. So let's try if we can just adjust this a little bit. And I think it's always clever to mix different noises into one noise soup. Okay. So make a beautiful recipe here. And I'm big with cooking and cinema 4d. So 
How about we just apply a layer shader here? Okay, nothing is happening, but I just can deactivate this one. And I think for speed sake, we want to push this to two so we can just get it faster to move. And for now, just temporarily deactivate the fog smooth. Okay, so this will just help us with speed in the scene. So deactivate this noise. We just apply another noise on top of it. Okay, and let's just check this one. So this is normal. Uh, sorry, you go inside of the noise and I think we want to have something that is more like a rock structure. Okay, I think let's see. Vuronoi 1, how does this work? Okay, so this is looking like like some cheese. Um, I think it's cool, but let's see. Do we have another noise that works better? How about hammer? Is this a good one? No, I think this is not so good. Even if I decrease it to 800. I think this would be, yes, I mean, <laughs> wow, this is interesting. So not too bad, not too bad, but I think we want to search another one. So go inside of it. Let's see. I just need to try dense. Oh, dense looks. No, this is too, too like a artifact in a museum. I think I just want to stick with Voronoi, but let's try Cell Voronoi. Hmm. I think this is not so bad. So um, let me just increase the contrast. For some reason, this noise is a little bit slow. All right, you know what? I just go for Voronoi 2, I think. <laughs> okay, it's still moving. I think this is already a little bit slow here. So watch out for your hardware. Um, it's a bit render intensive, especially if you already set the voxel size so low. So I think for now, while we move through the scene, just put it to five. So this will be way faster. So we have some destruction here. And let's see when we oh, just give me a little bit more resolution. With four, this seems to be a good compromise. And now you can see we only have this one no. We only have one noise which destroys our structure. Let's activate the other one. Nothing will happen because this is set to normal. But I think you just can set this one to multiply and mix them together. So again, it works like Photoshop. And hmm, I was expecting a better result here. But I think it's okay. So let me just tell you these elements. No, this looks just a little bit too too organic. So let me see if you go to remapping and change the inner offset, this will get rid of the bigger structure. So put this one to 50 and move it down more inside of it. So you can see you get a more cleaner structure here. And I think we still need to change the noise. I'm sorry. So go back to the layer to the noise. And I think this one needs to be a higher resolution. Hmm, still not satisfied. Put it to 400. Yeah, I mean, this, no, it's okay. It's, this is cool, actually. So, no, I think this is looking cool. But I think, hmm, let me think about it. This one, I think this is too high in contrast. So, let's see what happens when I put this one to gray. Yes, that's, I think that's it. I think this is better. Let me just see if I can make it even better. So let's just put another noise on top of it. And let's just see. Let's just see the normal mode. Let's check if we just by accident find something that is really great. So put it to 500. Okay. List the turbulence. Let's see how this is changing it. Okay, so this is already a cool base structure. Maybe we just mix this one also on top of it. So let's see with multiply. No, let's get rid of it. It's better. Let's say this one will be overlay. Hmm. I'm not totally sure. I think <laughs> I think it doesn't really help. Put it to 200. Okay. Let's see without it. Uh, think yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it's almost the same. So let me just try once more with big value. 
Okay, that's this is too clean. Let's just now I'm getting crazy. Let's just put it to Luca. Put it to 300. Okay, so how about we just get rid of this one? And I think this is already a cool result. So let's just see how this is looking with a higher voxel size. Wow, look at that beauty. <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of organic. Okay, so but man, these structures, they just look they just look amazing. So I think overall it is a little bit too intensive. So let me just go inside of these ones. And I guess we want to work with the remapping here. So put this one to 80. All right, with 80. So you can see we just decrease the fall off actually. And therefore we just decrease the bigger parts of it and make it a little bit more soft. So I think this is, this is just looking crazy. We just decrease it and that's better. I just want to see when I push this one to put, when I push this one to 90. So to be honest, I mean, now we make it really flat, but I just think, I think this is looking even better. So I guess 80 was also good with a little bit more of the structure. Yes. I mean, 80 is really sick. So this is, this is cool. Okay. So just one more minor detail here. So we go into the linear field there and let's just decrease the fall off here also. I just wanted to drag it here, but the system is getting already kind of slow. So put this one to 70 and you can see this makes it a little bit more flat. I just moved the linear feed down. And since it is getting really slow on my machine, so I just go to the, maybe I just deactivate the measure for just a second. And now I think, oh, it's still slow. Okay. So just put this one back to four. So activate this one again. And I think now I just can move it just a little bit easier. So you can see, I just want to place it a little bit differently. How about a more angular rotation here? I think I like this one just a bit more. Put it back. No, put it here. And I mean, these are just artistic choices, but I just want to angle it once more. Yes, I like this shape. So this is pretty sweet. So now go back to the builder and put it to two. Two looks really crazy. <laughs> Look at this one. So beautiful, man. But I think we can push it further. So let's go crazy and put it to 1.5. I mean crazy. This is related to my machine. You can see here calculating volume builder 33%. Let's just wait a second. All right. So this looks really crisp. All right. And to be honest with you, I think for now 1.5, that's good enough for me. Of course you can still decrease it further. So it will be even sharper there, but we also can apply the Fox move. So maybe we want to use it. Let's see. So this is getting way too smooth. Let's change the voxel distance to one. Okay, that's better. Let's put this one to 50 and let's see without it. Okay, I just put it to 30. Don't want to lose too much of the detail. So this is, re <laughs> this is really just a minor soft softening operation here. But now this element looks gorgeous and I think we're done here. So I think we are ready for the next part of the tutorial. So how about we just duplicate this one, press C and make it editable. You can see I just saved my scene and I just duplicated my element and made variations of it. So this is all the same technique, couple of elements there. And yeah, so far so good, beautiful. Now you know how to destroy your objects with MoGraph fields. But to be honest, there is something lacking here, right? So let me just quickly check this one. Okay, so this looks <laughs> this looks more interesting, right? Of course, I'm talking about the materials and especially I talk about how to make different selections to get the material on the broken up pieces and a different one on these pieces. So also we need to talk about how to make this beautiful speckled materials with different reflection and roughness values. So you can see this pattern, for example, is reflective. The other one is just diffuse. So this is just beautiful stuff here. You can see 
we can push our concept just a bit further to get something like this. And this one, I have to say we will do all of this material stuff in part two. Also, we will talk about how to make this beautiful Buddha head. So this is also done with the Mogra Fields technique I just showed you, but I did it with a couple of variations, okay? So I will also show you how to do this stuff. And I think there is also time to show you how to make a pendulum, right? So this is also interesting. So lots of good stuff I also would like to share. But as you already thought, the second part and the following parts, they will be on Patreon. So consider to support me there. I have lots of good stuff there. So yes, I think you already learned some beautiful techniques in this YouTube training. If you want to go further with this project, consider to follow me on Patreon. I think I have some good values there for you. But for now, I wish you so much fun with this technique and see you in the next tutorial. Bye guys.